What's up guys? This video is going to be a little different, still FPV related. Uh, we're going to be turning this axial off-road vehicle into an FPV capable vehicle. So basically, we're going to be adding a little FPV camera to this. So if you've watched my other videos, I've used these cameras before. I used them on the laser tag drones that I built and these are awesome. This is a camera, I think it's a 600 TVL camera with a 25 milliwatt VTX on the back and it's all in one, powers up just through a five volt source and you have FPV video. So you can put this on anything, you can put it on drones, planes, trucks, uh, remote control cars, boats, helicopters. You can put this on anything as long as it has a five volt source. So the first thing you want to do when you're working with a camera like this is on the vehicle or whatever you're putting this on, um, you're going to want to find a five volt source somewhere on board. The first thing I'm going to do is take the shell off and see what we're working with underneath. All right, so this is what we have underneath. Pretty simple. We got the battery back here that's pushing power up to the electronic speed controller and then that pushes it to a motor and that actually has two drive shafts that go underneath here and that goes to the front and back wheels and then obviously there's a servo up here that's turning the, uh, the wheels side to side. So in here we have the speed controller and it looks like there's two sets of wires that are going to other things. I'm not exactly sure what, but I can see that right over here there's actually an open set of pins. So right in here. And judging by these other wires, it looks like the furthest out pin is black. So that furthest out pin is hopefully ground. And then the one right next to it is power. And then the one right next to that is probably just signal for this bind feature. So I'm gonna find two servo pins and I'm gonna put them in here and just see if I have power. And if I do have power, then I'm gonna power the uh, little camera right off of that. All right, so I just tested these two pins. I used two cables like this. So just like these wires, this end one right here is ground, and then the one right next to it is power. So I am going to use both of these wires, and, and this is what's gonna power the camera. All right, so here's our camera. Like I said before, our camera requires a five volt source. So I'm actually gonna have to use one of these and this is a Maytech Systems BEC board. So basically what this is capable of doing is taking direct battery voltage from a two to six S battery and actually stepping it down to five volts or nine volts. Now, the way that you change it from five volts to nine volts, it does five volts just as is. So if you have battery voltage going in you would have battery ground and battery voltage going in here. And then you would have ground out and five volt or nine volt out. So if you just wired it up like this, you'd have five volts going out. To get nine volts, you would just have to bridge these two pads right here. Basically just put solder on those and just bridge them together. So I'm gonna be using one of these because we are pulling direct battery voltage and this camera requires five volts. So I'm gonna solder up these wires to the five volt out and ground out, and then I'll solder these two. So now with those ones all connected, we're gonna to wanna to put the wires on that are gonna go directly to the battery source on our car. All right, so now with all these wires soldered up, now I can take the other end of the power in and I can attach these to our servo plugs. And there we have it. This is ready to plug in and we should have video. So initially I was thinking it'd be cool if I could actually mount this camera up here in place of this light. And I was hoping that it would fit inside the little housing that this is in. This is meant for LEDs, but 
Uh, I don't think this is gonna fit. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is, there's no LEDs in this thing. So I'm gonna try and make a bracket that actually mounts onto this upper bar and this lower bar, and it just holds it right in front of this light right here. So the camera is essentially just gonna sit right like that. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill a hole in the dash right in the middle right here so that I can get the wires uh, right around here nice and clean maybe over here I'll drill a hole somewhere on this dash so that I can run the wires through and uh, keep it nice and clean and there is the hole that I'm going to run the wires down. So before I go any further, I'm gonna put some heat shrink on this, just make sure this is safe. So I got some heat shrink on the little BEC board. Got the camera all set, got this ready to go. Got the hole drilled. All that's left is to make a nice mount to hold the camera. So I'm gonna go do that now and print it. All right, so here is the part that I designed. So this part's gonna mount on the top bar, camera's gonna go in here, and then I have a little slot down here where I can use zip ties to secure it to the bottom bar. So I ran the wire for this around there. We have the camera, the camera's gonna be sitting somewhere in there. Here's the little case that I made for it. So the way this is gonna mount is it's gonna basically just clip around this bar like that. And then underneath, you can use a zip tie to secure that to the bottom bar. And then the camera will sit right in there. So I'll put the camera in first. This bracket has like a little cutout so I can slide the lens into that hole and then I'll just hold it in place. Right like that. It's perfect. And there's plenty of room in this little cage to take the additional wires. Just kind of tuck them behind it and that'll actually help it sit a little more snug that. So now I can secure this to the top bracket like that and I'll put a zip tie underneath. There we go. I'm gonna tidy up these wires. This looks pretty good. I have the little uh, five volt uh, BEC board or voltage regulator board sitting right here. You can secure that with another zip tie or some tape or something. And uh, then I just have the wire going down here through the dash and then out the bottom where we can plug it into the servo. Power and ground. They just go right in here. You know that ground goes on the outside and then power goes on the middle pin. Perfect. Well, we'll just let that wire sit and we can drop this cover back on. Cover has these pins that go in it. This is an FPV off-road vehicle now. So I'm gonna plug in my goggles and we'll go take this thing for a little test drive. <laughs> 